Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss School today. I am bringing you Monk Monday number 118, I believe it is. Thank you so much for anyone who submits their gameplay. If you don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go through it. Uh, twos, threes, RBGs, solo shuffle. I've done Mythic Plus, I've done raids. I've literally literally done it all. Windwalker, Miss Weaver, either of those work. It doesn't matter your MMR, 1200, 2800. 1400 it does not matter no one's going to judge you at all so please send your gameplay one of the best ways to learn is to watch your gameplay back if you're too shy to submit it i still would recommend recording your gameplay and watching it back because you'll see a lot of mistakes that you make so today we have rukio who says they have some monk solo shuffle games from monk monday not a great selection but thanks anyway of course i will of course send me as much gameplay as you want does not matter to me it looks like we are doing some shuffle um so you know it seems to be a pretty popular bracket. So, oh, are we doing twos actually? No, it's solo shuffle. Okay, I was gonna say, I was getting a little excited because uh, I love me so. Uh, two is my favorite bracket in the game. Uh, we have arms warrior and hand shaman disc priest with. Um, right off the bat, I would probably, I, I I hate like saying that you have to download an add-on, but I would download like Omni CD or something just so you could track your teammates' cooldowns at least. Um, that way you know at, at bare minimum at least you know when they have trinket or like their cooldowns available um, it's really really good though so uh, we have a BM hunter and I would assume probably an ass rogue uh, probably something like that so we'll see how this goes this hunter says he's got 1700 game on, on his uh, hunter so oh his first game on his hunter and he says he's going 06 that's the spirit that's the spirit <laughs> I hate to hear it if you're the healer um, let me try to pause it when you pull up your PvP talents, though. I just want to see where, what build you're running. Um, let's see. We're, we're playing. We're basically playing against Turbo, right? With Disc Prius. Disarm's good. Um, port is fine if you think they're going to go you. That's okay. Yep, build is fine. Yep, love it, love it. Um, probably don't need to be Eminence, though. You could go Zen Focus T here. That way the Enhancement Shaman doesn't have time. Because I feel like when I play against Turbo, the only pressure they really get is when I'm kicked. But... Uh, yeah, Eminence is fine, too, in case you think they're going to go you. That's fine, too. Statue Dome Port. Oh, perfect. Actually, you're the only person without stealth. So uh, they actually knock out your rogue, which is kind of crazy. Um, get your Renewing Mist out. Perfect. Good job. And we're just trying to... There's Thunder Focus Team. Velvet Mist. Vivify. Perfect. Swap over to the Hunter. That's fine, too. Did we have Renewing Mist on the Hunter this time? Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. All right, good. Um, if you feel like, also, I know it's kind of a weird, like, global... But if you feel like you're about to do a lot of healing, uh, like right around here, usually my first cooldown is always Yulon. So you see Spear going out, and you see the Warrior has Sharpen up. So obviously they're doing damage. I would I would instantly press Yulon. Um, Yulon is normally, like outside of putting my port and Satch down, it's normally one of my first globals during a game. Because... It's a, first, it's a long cooldown, and second, it actually she actually does like quite a bit of healing uh, that would help with the first. You know, they have every single cooldown available, so Yulon is just helpful. So I would just say keep that in mind. I know she could be a little bit of an awkward global, but um, with how much healing we're doing and about miss we're using, it's it's really helpful. Um, but yeah, a lot of healing here. Life cocoon as well goes out. That's fine. I don't think we use turtle there, uh, which we get a overlap scatter with in cap. And the hunter's pet is gonna die, so just be careful. Good revival. Just be careful of the hunter pet. Just be, if the hunter's pet dies, it's pretty much over for them, unless they turtle for it, which kind of sucks. Um, Rop there. I would just focus on healing right now. Yeah, this is good. Just focus on healing. Uh, don't try to go for CC. Dr. Fear is perfect for you guys. Um, just keep your doing mist out. Just keep healing. Uh, the only thing, good. There's Yulon. Perfect. That's mind games. I think it's fine though. See, see how much healing Yulon helps with. It, it, she's so good. Uh, that's a full blind on the priest. Um, paint subs down and wall from the enhancement shaman. So I feel like enhancement shaman could be the kill here, uh, but it is kind of hard to coordinate CC with uh, teammates. So um, it's kind of on you. Maybe follow up the blind with an in cap. But uh, if we're falling behind, we're just gonna we're gonna struggle. It's tr it's tough because I don't know what cooldowns the rogue has, but I'm assuming we've probably already used vanish and stuff like that. Um, it's too bad we died there because the warrior was in a kidney shot. The priest used PI on the enhancement shaman, which I guess was a good choice because we didn't CC him. But I think we were doing fine. I think healing wise, just uh, focus on healing, especially when our teammates are dying. Because at this MMR, at least when I healed it, no buttons were being pressed. I mean, not not one button was being pressed. So you kind of need to just chill and heal most most of the game. 
uh, especially versus a disc priest versus a disc priest you can out mana a disc priest pretty easily so just focus on keeping your team alive so versus this we have enhancement shaman acid rogue um pp talent are fine disarm could be used on honestly either maybe enhancement shaman if they use ascendance could also use on acid rogue when when you see a kidney shot going out both of them are fine good job with your new miss going out uh good dispel there too really good really good so yeah right now perfect we're just healing uh full blind on you could be a trinket let's see if the rogue pops out rogue doesn't pop out and there's a sap so i think you don't need to trinket this at all yeah i think you're you're actually killing the enhancement team's actually killing the enhancement shaman a waste of a blink or a blink a waste of a blind from the shaman uh defensive fear we life cocoon let's see let me see the life cocoon yeah, life cocoon's fine. Yeah, this is a good life cocoon right there. Perfect. The uh, defensive fear. I think that's fear. Uh, trigger tremor from the shaman. The healing, good. Yeah, I think just run at the rogue. I think rogue. Uh, that's evasion as well. I think rogues are one of like the the worst defensive classes. I mean, they do a ton of damage, but they could also die. So we're doing a really good job right now. And again, you don't need to push your CC. Your hunter has stun in cap dr. And oh my god, oh my, what just happened? Um. Because we're smashing our healing right now. The healing. Uh I feel like we still have turtle, but we didn't press it. That this is the issue I had when I was uh I mean it's also ascendance too. We could did we disarm the ascendance? Because we could yeah, we did. We actually did disarm the ascendance. Huh. We have revival, I guess. I'm trying to think what cooldowns you have to maybe like prevent <laughs> your team from getting one shot. We we have revival, but you you're Hunter honestly dies so fast. I wonder if he had like Fain Death and Tur he probably had Turtle, maybe Exhilaration left too. I just don't know what cooldowns they have. I would definitely get Omni CD and that way you could track cooldowns, especially Trinkets and like major defensive cooldowns. Um, but I'm actually surprised that he died here. I I, I don't know how he died. Um, we we're pressing Revival like a little bit too late, but even then, we use it. We don't have Thunder Focus T. I don't know how your teammate died there. That was that was a lot of. I think uh, positioning wise, great job sitting the blind. Great job sitting the sap. Um, oh yeah, it was also the hunter's first game. That's right. Yeah, this uh, this this might be a rough series. I mean, as long as you go three three, it doesn't matter, right? Like, you know, as long as you don't lose to the hunter. But <laughs> yeah, it's uh. Normally, I would say don't go for in caps. But if your hunter has never played a game in his life, maybe you go for in cap sweeps when you can. Um, you could also don't be afraid to use your leg sweep to peel for your DPS as well. Um, if you're not pushing into, if you can't, or if you don't want to push in to the enemy healer, you could just sweep. I know you're playing with a rogue, but maybe you could go for a sweep off of the kitty shot. Or if you get kicked, that's also useful. Um, nice renewing mist out. Thunder focus team Velpin mist goes out. Um, pushing in for. Be careful when you push in against the disc priest as well. Um, the rogue opens with the blind again um be careful when you push in on a priest because normally priests don't have a lot of mobility to get to you so if you stay really far away normally they can't get to you and get the fear but if you, the only one of the only ways they can get the fear is if you push in when they have it so just be careful when you push in against the disc priest because then they'll just get a fear for free and then they get some pressure so just keep that in mind um try you could push in on a priest maybe like after they fear, but if they have it, just be careful. Oh, also, I would, I would play Restoral. Restoral with Peace Weaver is, is really good versus this because you can immune traps. Um, but we are playing Eminence, aren't we? There's a trap right there. Nice life cocoon. Nice. nice. Okay, good life cocoon before the trap. We did one mistake, though, is we did outrange our port, so we couldn't port the stun. But uh, that's fine. That's fine. Just keep that in mind, though. That is Will from the Priest, though. Maybe we get for a nice in-cap here. Maybe to a little little sweep into a song. Sweep both. Sweep. Oh, nice try. Nice try. That's fine, though. That's fine. Um, Hex DRs with Trap, so it's not a big deal. It looks like we're still trying to kill the Hunter. That's Pain Suppression. Nice drop to help your teammates get to him, because I don't think the Hunter has much mobility. That was the Void Shift by the, um, by the Priest. So I think... Oh, nice Disarm on the Enhancement Shaman, too. I think the Hunter's just going to die here. Nope, that's second, I think that's second pain suppression and rapture coming out for the priest. So if we have any CC for the priest right now, or a kick for this lasso, I think this hunter could die, but paint sub just went down. Nice, beautiful. Give you a song here. Trap, that's actually a really good trap. Hmm. That's a good trap, unfortunately. But we do have cooldowns. We have revival coming up. We have. We just use revival. We also have 
uh, Life Cocoon coming up. Put, make sure you put Renewing Mist out on your Rogue. Beautiful. Put it on your Warrior, too, since, uh, you know, they're kind of cleaved up. Shaman's going to do a little. There's Kidney Shot on the Hunter. I think this I think this hunter's just going 06. I'm gonna keep it real here. Yeah, this game was good. Um good job healing. Just be careful when you're pushing in on a disc priest. Like, do you see your mana? Disc priest has 125,000. You have 212,000. You literally you almost have a hundred thousand more mana than the disc priest. Versus disc priest, you can it doesn't matter. It honestly, it doesn't really matter what the matchup is. Just know that you can out dampen them. Like you can out heal them and you can out mana them, which is more important. So keep that in mind. Don't you don't ever have to like overcommit versus this disc priest. All you have to do is stay alive and you will win. Um it's probably gonna be a hunter. Hunter's probably he will go <laughs> he will go 06. Yeah, all right. Well, that, that happens sometimes. It's a little unfortunate from the healer point of view, but it is what it is. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, Arms Warrior, BM Hunter, Disc Priest versus uh Enhanced Asa Rogue. It, the rogue, you're uh, we one mistake and this isn't your mistake it's the rogues it's it's your the teammate's mistake is the shaman's mistake is that no one's letting the rogue get a sap now i don't even know if the rogue is trying to get a sap because he's open with blind like three rounds in a row on the healer but no no one's letting the rogue get a sap on the enemy healer so the the opener is a little awkward we do get trapped though the rogue now the rogue is gonna do, it does take a lot of damage so keep that in mind rogues will get run over by warriors um good life cocoon here on spear the rogue is trying to get out. I would just hit the warrior if I was him. Going for a sweep here, which is beautiful. Into a song. Oh, my God. That's a really, really, really good song. That's a DR fear. Or a fear, a defensive fear. Maybe an in-cap. I don't know if we have it. That's a half-blind. Rogue probably doesn't know that DR is with a song, which is fine. But that was a really, really good uh, CC chain there from you. Thankfully, they didn't kick, which is really good. Um, but yeah, no, that was solid. That was solid. That was really good, especially on your go. Renewing missed up, good ROP. Um, your DPS, we're going to have a lot of uptime on the Hunter because the Hunter's kind of struggling to cut away. He uses his Master Call there, but he runs into <laughs> he runs into the your team. So uh, this is Scatter. It's a trap on you. Insane Lasso. Good Lasso here to stop their go a little bit. Uh, just stops any damage. Good job rolling away. Good healing here. Hunter has really nothing. I don't think Hunter has any cooldowns. The Priest has... Rapture. Oh no. Not even. Priest has nothing. So all we need to do, all they have is trinkets. Which again isn't doing too much. Good life, cocoon there. Really good. Again, your rogue is is very is very much a kill target. That is a full trap on you. Again, keep in mind that you do you 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 are playing eminence. So you can get out of these traps if you poured it away, or you can avoid the traps if you poured away while stunned. Uh so try to always, always, always move your port around on the map. Um, and always try to be in range of your port because even if they don't trap you or CC you, they can maybe swap to you in a stun. So just keep that in mind. That's a DR stun on the priest. It looks like we're trying to go priest now. Probably wouldn't do that if I was them. Also, I would have went disarm here as oh, you probably are disarmed still, aren't you? Yeah, you probably disarm. So disarm the warrior when you see damage going out. Uh, any damage really. Uh, but the hunter dies again. So kind of expected at this point. <laughs> um the, your team, I feel like you're this round. You should run over this team like fairly easily, uh, just because rogues and hunters both take a lot of damage. They take a lot of damage, and turbo does a lot of damage. So I'm I'm expect to go hunter. Okay. Um, as far as for you, I would maybe put your port on this middle pillar if we're pushing in, which we probably are. Uh, just run to this middle pillar and put your port on like one on like either the back side or this side. Uh, look at that beautiful. Beautiful. That way, you, that way, for the most part, you always stay in range of your port. We actually didn't get a port down. They could open you if they wanted to, but it looks like they're not. They're going to go on your warrior. Looks like a half trap off the off the sap, and we'll see if your warrior... Nice, good, good. Life Kakuna Revival is fair. Put your port down. Beautiful. Maybe it's time to go for some CC on the priest. He's pushing in. Okay, good. Good, all right. Priest doesn't want to push in anymore. And, you, and the thing is, is you don't have to either. Uh, that's Void Shift from the Priest and Turtle. Insane overlap. Really, really big overlap. We still have... Uh, we have Yulon. So that would be the next cooldown I use probably. And there's no kicks. So when I'm in a situation like this where the enemy team has no kicks... Oh, they have no... It's it's like the best situation. Uh, I would trinket this Yulon Thunder Focus team helping this. This is what I would do. 100%. You're starting to get a little low. Um, Rogue Evasion there. 
Remember, Thunder Focus T makes your Enveloping Mist instant, and Yulon makes it so your Enveloping Mist does an insane amount of healing, puts a hot. That's actually really good. So I would trinket this instantly. Don't try to sit. Oh, blinds the trinket instantly. But I think we're chilling. The sap is half off. Nice, really good, really good. I would make sure make sure you try to utilize uh, Yulon a little bit. Um, but besides that, we're doing good. They only have one range kick, and it looks like you're tracking here, so they don't have it. And we're still hitting the hunter. This poor guy. This poor guy. He's just trying to learn hunter. And poor he's he's thrown to the wolves. All right, good. Uh let's try to get some CC on the priest. And maybe in cap off that storm bolt would be good. Careful. Nice, nice, good in cap. Be careful, of course, though. To, oh, he doesn't actually oh no, they have fear. He has fear. That was great. So I go from the eleven seconds to done. Life cocoon on the warrior is fair. Um the hunter has no cooldowns. The priest has no cooldowns. Uh, be careful about the rogue. If you feel like you're in a tight spot or if you get kicked, feel free to in-cap the rogue. But the hunter goes down again. Let's try to get a dub with him. Let's, let's, oh no. Oh no, is the priest all at four? Um, yeah, these talents are fine. Yeah, these talents are fine, I think. Um, eminence is good for avoiding any CC on you out of a stun. Um, Warrior disarm is good. I would probably you could drop eminence if you think they're not gonna go you for peace weaver. They're just gonna train the hunt. Yeah, that's true. Oh no, the priest is back. For some reason I thought it grayed out. Got a new missed up port up. Perfect. We get sapped. Like I would like the lightning lassos from your shaman to stop like goes a little bit. It's nice. We might get blinded off this. No? Okay, perfect. Thunder focus T. Good. Cocoon on the hunter. Revival as well. Incap here on the priest. Give me a song off that. Trinket fear from the priest. You trinket it into a sweep. Did we get a song off that? Oh, we didn't get a song. That's a little unfortunate. That is a little unfortunate. Um, but we don't have trinket now for blind. So just be careful uh, about that. DR fear. We don't have to worry about blind for a little bit now because that's our super DR. That it. Okay. Okay. Triple DR blind. Ain't it. Uh, as well as Gorilla Onion. We did use Turtle though. Don't be. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, this game, honestly, it looked a little rough because your hunter was definitely <laughs> newer and went 06. But overall, uh, tr try to stay in range of your port. That way you can avoid CC on you or or if they try to swap to you. Don't push in on a priest, a disc priest, or just a priest in general ever just because they have their fear and it's really annoying because they actually don't have a lot of ability to get to you. So it should be very difficult for them to try to get a fear on you. Um, besides that, uh, healing wise, I think overall healing was fine. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, try to utilize Yulon. Yulon is normally like the first cooldown I press just because she does a lot of healing and it normally prevents me from having to use life cocoon. Um, and also try peace weaver, um, having just for the fact that it makes your revival a minute and a half cooldown. Um, it, it obviously outside the immunity part it's just really really useful so versus this we have ooh, we got a got an interesting lobby here we got resto druid survival hunter death Lock. now similar to the disc priest i would definitely play restore versus this by the way there's really nothing you, you i mean you can't dismount emulates but i wouldn't go revival i would go probably i would drop disarm and go peace weaver is what i would do that's the only th that's the only thing i would change I would definitely not go revival, uh, just because you can't use it while stunned, and the hunter has stuns. The war warlock has stuns technically, and so does the druid. Um, we are playing red warrior though, so normally, uh, you know, playing red warrior it's a pretty good comp right now. I probably run at the dash warlock all game. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, I yes, perfect, perfect. Except I would have went restore instead of peace weaver. But outside of that, that's fine. Um, overall though, let's run at this dash warlock and kind of just make him. It, it's gonna be he's gonna be a little sad me a little sad about it i'm not gonna lie uh what the name of the game here again oh what i was saying was similar to disc priest you can actually dampen a resto druid too uh there's the only way the only reason they're decent in threes right now is because you they could shadow mel drink and stealth uh you could incap hunter here maybe good beautiful you could even sweep off if you wanted to going for a song trap full stayed a little too close um but druids can't drink in solo shuffle so that's really good for us that's well from your um hunter or <laughs> From your rep alley. Uh good cocoon here before stun. Watch the cyclone on you, full cyclone on you. 
Um, but I think overall the life cocoon should be enough. Yeah, good, good, good. On any resolve from your from the warlock, looks like the hunter kind of wants to hit you. I'm trying to think about what we have. We have Yulon, we have Ring of Peace, we have Fort Brew Revival. So we 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 have cooldowns. We also have um incap here. What I would do is maybe incap the hunter, LOS, and like maybe oh oh, it's done here. Oh wow, okay. That kind of helped you out a little bit actually. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, I would tell your team to instantly just hit this hunter. Like hit the, please. Good, good. I'm glad that your teammates see this too. Whenever there's a melee sitting on you, just hope that your teammates swap to them. And then now that they're off of you, they should swap back to the Warlock. Okay, they got to go back to the Warlock. We port traps on top of your port. Oh my God. Okay, that's also Iron Mark on the Hunter. Fear off this potentially? No? Good, good. No, we're doing really good. Uh, I would definitely swap off the Hunter though. I, I think it's, it's you know, go back to the go back to the Warlock. We already, we already got an ending resolve. So I, I would go back to the Warlock. That's Fear on the Warrior. Warrior breaks. Good, 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 good. Back to the Warlock. Perfect. Uh, the Druid also has no Trinket now. So we have we can get in-cap sweeps. Maybe Tom Pet with this. Nice sweep on the on the Tracker's Net. In-cap here into a Song, potentially. Careful you are in the thing. You got it. Perfect. It's half, though. It's fine. Uh, if we have Fort Brew off. No. Kill the Hunter? Shadow Fury from... Nice. Turtle. So now they really have nothing. They have no trinkets, no defensive cooldown. So at this point, we just need to live. Uh, we have Yulon available. We have we have nothing else. Maybe we have bubble. No bubble. See that this is why I don't. It, it, I would definitely get Omni CD 100% because I don't even know. I don't even know. I wasn't even tracking your, your rep alley that much because we were really far ahead. I'm actually surprised we lost that. We should have definitely stayed on the Warlock. I, I think this is more of a target choice issue than your issue because um, you weren't in CC that much that game. Your healing was fine. Uh, your team swapped to the hunter when he swapped to you, and then we should have immediately like swapped back to the warlock, uh, especially since we got on any resolve so fast and Druid had no trinket. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm actually surprised that we lost that. I actually am because I feel like we were far ahead that most of that game. Um, also, Restoro with Peace Weaver is probably really good. Um, so here, what would I play? I would I would drop Eminence. I, I, Eminence is good for sure. But I feel like in solo shuffle, most of the time, they don't really hit me. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's different for you. But for the most part, I feel like most teams don't try to... Oh. Also, I would put one point right here. Yeah. I, I, rapid Diffusion, I think this is what it's called. I, I, I would put one, at least one point into this. That way you get more Renewing Mists and it's just free globals. Um, but I would. Uh, what I'm saying is I would drop Eminence. Definitely. And play like Peace Weaver. That way you have Peace Weaver disarm Chrysalis. Uh, because again, these I mean, the Hunter is on your team now. So there really isn't much CC that you're going to be avoiding through stuns. Uh, maybe they try to kill you. But in my experience, they don't They don't really try to kill you. So at least in Solo Shuffle. Three is a little bit different. We're doing Mist good. We're doing Mist good. All right. Ho your Rep Pally's Hodge might want to dispel it. I think, I mean, I guess we should be chilling. Just be careful of not dispelling Hodges. Warrior obviously wants to kill the Red Pally. Your team wants to kill the the Warlock. Shadow Fury from the Warlock. And Infernals. Uh, Druid also Bark Skins. I don't know what he Bark Skins. Maybe he took a little damage there. I don't know. But Druid could potentially be a kill target if uh, we have a stun for him down the road. But yeah, good. See, Yulon, really good. Good job. Yulon is a really, really strong cooldown. We get... Charge kicked into a fear, hoping for a sank from the rep alley. We're not getting a sank from the rep alley. That's revival as well. That's a bubble as well. So we did overlap bubble and life cocoon, which is never good. That's a that's a unfortunate overlap for sure. Um, especially since we had revival two, since we used revival two. So now we're kind of out of cooldowns. Which uh honestly, this could have all been prevented if the Red Pally just sanked you. Maybe he doesn't have it. I don't know. But yeah, the really big overlap here, which happens in Solo Shuffle. There's really nothing you can do about it. Uh, good job healing your Hunter, though. Uh, I think we're out of range of our port. Yes, like this. I love this. It's DR. And so is the sweep. Probably would have waited for the full DR just because of how strong it is in Solo Shuffle because as soon as you start falling behind, they have to start using mana a lot more. Um, it would have been a decent time. Whenever you see your... Basically, you want to go for in-cap sweeps first when the enemy healer is off DR is ideal. Um, but also when you see your team going for like a stun, like your hunter, I actually, you don't even need to worry about in-cap stuns because your hunter is, is, it should be the one CCing. 
So if you see the hunter going for traps like consistently, I just let them trap. Um, but if you don't, then yeah, see that like, there's a full trap. You probably don't need to worry about going for in caps. You could go for a song off the trap though. Uh, but besides that, also you want to make sure you heal the hunter pet. Nice, good, all right, good, good, good. I think that was um, heal from the hunter. Go for s dr in cap is not uh, not too good just because it makes the dr a little bit longer for your hunter to get traps. Life cocoon on the hunter is good. I'm actually surprised not hitting your rep pally. Good, good, good healing on the rep pally. Yep, just keep running at the warlock. See now, you see how that trap was dr right here. The stun was dr, but then the ink the trap was like. Where is it? Super DR. That's just because we went for an in cap. I would I would just let the hunter get the traps because your in cap and your trap are the same and their trap is the same DR. I would not worry about trying to get CC at like at all. Um maybe are you honestly you might want to try to get CC on the warrior just so that there's no peels or anything like that um for your team when they're trying to get a kill. That's probably what I would do. Like DR Stormwolf on you is perfect. We don't mind that at all. And we're, just, we're keeping our team alive, and that's what matters. So good job. We're doing good. Good healing on the hunter. I think they'll try to kill your rep pally right now. Good. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, good. Good. Um, we have Thunder Focus T in a few seconds. Druid has no trinket as well. So we if if you know Druid has no trinket, that's a full trap right now. If we can get like a leg sweep on the warlock, if we can get like a sweep or on the or a song off. All right, we're dying though. So good job keeping your team alive. I would went for CC and probably die, kill our teammates. Good, good, nice, well done, well done. Maybe sweep here, sweep. Yes, yes, trinket. Yes, good. Trinket from the warlock as well as iron bark from uh, the druid. Well done. Any kick for the druid, beautiful. Well, that that's what I'm talking about right there. So what you're trying to do, I know what I know at like at any MMR, it's hard to coordinate just because there's no voice going on, so it's really annoying. Um, but whenever you see, if you're playing with the hunter, you know. Get a trap on the on the healer. Try to get a sweep on the on the DPS or like off DPS, in cap on the off DPS, and you're gonna get cooldowns a lot faster. Right there, we got a kill, which is really nice. So good work there. Good work there. Uh try not to go for in cap. I mean, if you have the hunter on your team, just let them get the just let them trap. Just let them do their thing, you know? Um, because then you're just like making them wait there for their DRs. Especially since this hunter's getting traps consistently. If he was missing traps and like whiffing them, then yeah, I would I would kind of take it in my own hands. Uh, I would take it. I would take it in my own hands to like do it. Um, but the hunter's getting consistent traps. I'm re I, what I'm really liking here is the bag usage for sure. Uh, my bags are worse than yours, but I'm glad that you're utilizing your bag space. That's really good. Uh, disarm is a good swap here. Again, uh, eminence is much better against the hunter, so probably didn't need it last game because they didn't really stun you. But overall, it's going it's going to get a lot more use versus the hunters. I would start dodging right now. Oh, there's a, so there's a hodge on the druid. We don't, so here's the thing about when you play with a rep pally is they only have one stun. So especially when you're playing with ret lock, you there's a hodge on the on the healer. What I would do if I was you is I'd roll in and try to get a sweep on the warrior or hunter or one of like any of them, uh, just because that you get some nice decent cross CC going on. Maybe even roll in to get a follow up, um, but that's fine. Uh, that's we actually ported already the warlock ported already. That's incarn as well sharpen. Avatar from the warrior, stun on you into a trap. Nice port. Port again. Oh, could have ported again. That's fine though. Uh, would you get trapped full? You kind of. I would. I would also. I. It's. It's a. I. Very small thing, but you should really port a second time right now, because you have the buff up, and that. And since you're gonna port when you're not stunned, you get the cooldown reduction from Eminence. So I would. The first thing immediately that I looked at was how much how when you got trapped was how long do you have on this buff because now if you don't port after you're after you're not stunned a second time the cool the cooldown on eminence is going to be on your port is going to be 45 seconds so you're not going to be able to port the next one yeah we don't port again so it's 35 seconds um so we're not going to be able to port the next stun on us if they go for a stun trap so keep that in mind always try to keep in mind that uh that buff from escape from reality Renewing Mist, uh, probably in your Warlock. Good, 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 good. I would definitely go um, Overflowing. What is it? I always forget if it's Overflowing Mist or like what it's called. But the one that makes your Enveloping Mist put uh, renew, apply Renewing Mist, very, very important. I mean, you would never run out. So like you see how we couldn't tr we couldn't port this time? That's because the cooldown on our... Oh, wait, no, it's actually off cooldown. Oh, no, it's not. 
10 seconds. Is it? Huh. Maybe it is. Nope. It's not. So you see how we couldn't port this time? That's because we didn't have the cooldown reduction. We didn't port a second time outside of a stun. So you want to remember that. That's very important. They have no kicks though. So again, versus Druids, we do. We got Turtle there. Versus Druids, you could actually dampen them in Solo Shuffle because their Hots really don't do anything uh, the longer the match goes on. Hodge here gets a Trinket. Perfect. So from right now, your mana's looking damn good. You're about, I don't know, 100k ahead of the Druid. Just focus on healing. Keep your team alive. I don't know what cooldowns your Repelli has. I, we've, I don't see Forbearance or anything. So we're doing a good job here. Don't push it. You don't have to push in. Good. Good job running away. You remember, you don't have to push in. Good disarm on the warrior here too. Ooh. Did we stop that? Yes, nice kick. Uh, uh, train the hunter down to the ground. He has no turtle. Uh he his pet is dead right now. So if we could stop, I don't know if we're seeing it. I don't know if the your warlock. Okay, your warlock's just going for kill. That's fine too. Just kill the warrior. That's fine. They're freaking out about the hunter. Nice blinding light as well. Yeah, I would probably get a, maybe a sweep on that. Nice kick for, from your rep alley. Nice, good. At this point, run the hunter down. Get a sweep here. Is it full? Perfect. Kill the hunter. Good. Good round. Good round. Well done. Well done. Really good round here. I got no complaints about that. Good job healing. Again, always try to know your win condition as well. Whenever I'm in a lobby against anything that isn't a resto shaman, because the resto shaman is the only healer I can't out mana. If I'm against anything else, I know for a fact I can out mana them. So don't put yourself or your team in harm's way. Focus on healing as your number one number one goal is to heal. And then outside of that, if you can get CC when you can, get it. If you can't, don't don't jeopardize you know you dying or getting CC to to try to get it. It uh, looks like they try to CC Druid is perfect. We are not playing with the Hunter, so we're going to go for... I would say what you want to do is every Stormbolt go for an in-cap on the Druid. S simple, simple thing that you can do to make it, like, your team just much more effective. We do miss the Spear. A little unfortunate. Trust me, been there. It's all right. We had Trap DR. I would port. Nice. Good port. Really, really good port there. Nice. Uh, I would port again. Now, don't, now don't forget... You, Maybe we forget, maybe we don't, I don't know. But you can port a second time with Escape from Reality. So you yeah, excellent port on the first one. The second time he gets you, port again. Make make like even if the hunter gets the trap eventually, make him work for it. Make him use all of his all of his mobility to get to you. That way he doesn't have it later. So keep that in mind. You know, make him work for it. This is coordinated assault from the survival hunter. So this is big damage. It's also full stun on you. This is why I like Eminence too with Peace Weaver. Or not Eminence. Uh, uh, Restore with Peace Weaver. Because you can uh, heal and make everyone immune while you're stunned. Especially versus Red Pally. It's really good. That's Bop on the Hunter though. Uh, Disarm on the Red is good. I would go for maybe a little... Uh, that's Bubble from the Red Pally. All right. So there's nothing... Obviously right now we're not going to get any pressure on the Red Pally. Um, and the Hunter was just recently bopped. Give me a little Revival. Good Thunder Focus. The Envelopment Mist here. Blinding Light on you. We're greeting out. I would Revival. Maybe not. I guess they have no range kicks, right? That's good. All right, go for in cap here. Taunt pet maybe. Nice tiger's lust on that route into a sweep. You could probably kill the hunter here. All right, port is fine. We didn't reset our port. We didn't use our second port, so we're out in the middle. Nice revival here. Port a second time as well, so you get the cooldown reduction. Um, but besides that, no, we're doing a we're doing a damn good job right now of healing, and keeping our team alive. Hunter might be looking for a little trap on you. I I think the kill target could be anyone right now, but Rep Pally's probably better because there's less mobility. Beautiful, well done. Well, now don't for, again, don't forget that you have that second port uh, to avoid trap, to avoid CC, to avoid damage on you. Um, but yeah, no, overall we're doing really really good work this this game. It's a little bit it's a little bit better when you don't have someone that's uh it's the first time playing and they go 06 you know there's nothing you can do about that as a healer you could do your best to keep them alive but if if it's the first time on the character or like that class they, you know there's nothing you could do uh so again you have the hunter on your team so this is one of the cool things about like soul shuffle that is pretty cool is like you have to adapt based on what you're playing so normally you try to go for in caps on the healer and sweeps but when you're playing with the hunter there's really no point in going for that because you your hunter takes care of that they they have your drs uh we do, we're getting speared don't freak out rop there's blade storm might need to go for a uh, life cocoon here which is fine uh this is good this is good we use life cocoon i would port beautiful drag them and then port a second time all right they go going to your hunter now all right good revival there uh, I don't see a turtle being used, which is really good. No major overlap with your revival. Be careful, though. 
we can't, so positioning wise, we came back. This was fine. Unfortunately, your hunter kites towards you. And this is like, this is, I'm not gonna lie. This is the one thing in solo shuffle that just bothers me as a healer is when my heat, my DPS kite towards me. This is poor kiting from your hunter. So if they swapped you off this, it's not that big a deal, but oh, they kite towards you. Now the rep pally gets free CC. The hunter, the warrior swaps to you. It, it's, it's painful. It really is good rop here though. Um, but that, that right there isn't, you know, you're okay. Don't go too far. Don't, don't go too, don't go too far. This is good, but yeah, you don't want to go too far from your DPS. Um, but your stun on you is perfectly fine. I'm not complaining about that. So now they don't have stuns on you for a while. We did not get a reset on our port. So just be aware your port is right. Okay. Good gate. Loving it. The one thing about it, are we getting in-cap song here? Are you serious? You're crazy. That's insane. Good job. The, oh my God. I didn't even just notice the druid trinket and tries to bash you. But you're so stunned, yard. It doesn't. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh my god, that's funny. Um, that is too. They also started to try to stormbolt you too. Sweep off. Beautiful job with CC here. Good work. See, that's fine because the hunter wasn't getting any CC, so that's fine. Dr. Trap. It's it's whatever. It is what it is. Oh, the one thing I was gonna mention, we just absolutely exploded that red pally. The one thing I did want to mention though is uh, this gate. A little. It's good. However, if they're training you to the ground and you know that the warrior is playing spear, I would have waited just a little bit. Um, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I don't I don't know how long to the game. We're almost a minute. So that means in 30 seconds, they're probably going to have spear for you. Uh, and then you, you can gate. You can use gate to get out of spear. But good work on the first spear actually staying alive. Usually what sucks is like normally... If they go me and they spear me, it's the first one is always gonna net the life cocoon because they all all both the DPS have their cooldowns available for their like for their burst. So that normally it's just a life cocoon. Uh but we kill the rep alley, which is really nice. Also, we didn't reset our port, so keep that in mind. Uh, always want to try to reset your port. And now we have uh Hunter Warrior versus Ret Destro Resto Druid. One ranged kick. So Zen Focus T could be worth it. I, I think we're overvaluing Eminence. I mean, maybe it's me. It could be me. Maybe I I use Eminence when I actually when I really feel like I can't get a kill. Actually, we probably could drop Disarm. It's decent versus Rep Hallies, but I would definitely go Peace Weaver. Um, I would I would actually you know what I would do. I know what I would do. I would go Restoral, drop Eminence, and go Peace Weaver. That's what I would do. I I don't most of the time they don't try to kill healers. Especially like melee caster, I don't. I just don't feel like they're gonna kill me, uh, or they're try to gonna try to kill me. So, um, go druid. That's that's the wrong call. That is the that is the wrong. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Nice song here. Nice. Probably gonna get trinket. No, I'm actually surprised. I would not go the druid. I wouldn't. Definitely just go destro. Uh, be careful kiting towards your port though. That's a hodge on your hunter. Be careful. Yep. Good. Good. Red Pally really want unless it's a blinding light. All right, that's fine too. Um, we did kite towards our port though, so just be careful. Don't stack on your port. Um, but it looks like the druid's actually kind of taking it right now. Uh, a little preemptive port there is fine. We, again, we have the second port. We gate back or they gate towards you. The druid put a renewing mist up. Revival is perfect. We're not playing peace weaver though, so that's the scary part. Is it, with no peace weaver, sure revival is good healing, but it doesn't provide immunity. There's a rop. That's a bop. Good. That's root. Might want to dispel your warriors. Kind of ASAP. Kick that fear if you can. Nice. Good. Stun on you. Not taking too much damage here. I'm not going to lie. Dampen harm is fine. Even though I think you could get away with it. You could probably just Yulon Thunder Focusing and Velvet Mist here and you'd be fine. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of an overreaction from us, but I think I think it's fine. But yeah, probably didn't have to. Um, Druid Barkskin's nothing. <laughs> the true actually barks in nothing so this is good for us be careful of these bolts coming in hot we are not playing peace weaver so it's a little scary good healing good healing that's parry from your warrior Tr full trap on the druid so this is we could port beautiful all right you you are better than me for sure um life cocoon as well the druid remember the druid did waste uh his bark skin nice sweep here into a song nice Good. Oh, okay. We're hitting the warlock. All right. Maybe we get the rep pally. Nice collateral damage. Full fear on you. 
Should be fine because the rep Halley is songs right now, so not much pressure is going out. Full trap on the druid. Let's just get a kill on the kill here on the warlock. Yeah, kill. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Well deserved. Five one there. Good. Good. Good work. Um, overall, not bad. I will try to see. So first of all, make sure just just know that you could port a second time. This this right here, escape from reality. This one point allows you to port a second time after your first port. Um, and then also try to always make sure that your second port isn't while you're stunned. That way you get the cooldown reduction from eminence. Um, talents, we're fine. Restoro, try to play Restoro with Peace Weaver. I know it depends on the matchup, but I don't think there's many matchups where I drop like anything for Peace Weaver. Peace Weaver is really good, especially versus Rep Pallies, Destro Lux, anything with magic damage. You could use it while stunned, make your whole team immune for two seconds to magic uh, abilities. So that's really insane. You're... Positioning was fine. Your healing was fine. Download Omni CD though. I I mean I, I hate to say it. I don't. I hate being the. I don't really like to use a, many add-ons, but I primarily use weak auras and Omni CD. And Omni CD, unfortunately, is just one. It's a really good add-on, and I would I would just download it. That way you could track what cooldowns your teammates have used. That way you don't have to overlap, especially with solo shuffle. There's no voice. There's nothing. There's like very little ways to coordinate. So. Definitely Omni CD um, versus priest teams. Don't roll into them. Try not to roll into them. It's, that way they, they get free fears. I would I would try my best not to um, because they, again they don't have a lot of mobility. So if you roll into them, you just give them a free fear rather than them having to like trace you down. Um, we were clicking our frames a little bit. I think tr tr make keybinds. I would try to make keybinds. Mouse will up, mouse will down, middle mouse button to target your teammates, uh, which is good. Um, Try to ad adapting to who what classes are on your team is also something. When you're playing with the hunter, if they're able to consistently get traps, don't worry about incapping the healer. What I would do, for example, is if your hunter is able to consistently get you know a stun trap on the druid like the healer, and your team's hitting the warlock, tr maybe try to get it. I mean, incap with Zerka Rage against warriors is annoying, but if this is like any other DPS, go for incap sweeps on the other on the other DPS. That way everyone is CC'd and it's a 3v1 on the Warlock. Uh, but overall, not bad, not bad. Good job on the 5-1. The first games, uh, the Hunter went 06. I mean, you know, first time playing Hunter, that's probably gonna happen. So overall though, great games. Hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone that's maybe running into issues or is running into the same problems, but Great games, great healing, great everything. Just work on those few things and you will be fine. And that is pretty... Oh, oh, oh. Don't underutilize Yulon. I make fun of Yulon all the time. She's kind of annoying. But she is good. She is good. It is normally my first cooldown I press every game. What I normally try to do is I try to instant vivify. That way I have the life cycle buff for Enveloping Mist. And then I'll Yulon, Thunder Focus T, Enveloping Mist for the mana reduction and the big healing that it gives. And if you do that, it's it's so much healing. It, it I use that before like any CC on me and normally my teammates will be fine because you do so much healing. The hot is strong. So just keep, again, keep that in mind. Yulon, don't underutilize her. Tr use her, I would just use her as fast as I could. First, first cooldown, just do it. Very, very good cooldown. But that is it for me. Hopefully this will help for you or anyone who's running into any issues. And that is it. Hope everyone's fantastic today. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.